One year later, half of Republican voters say rioters were protecting democracy. Seven in ten say Biden's win by seven million plus votes was a fraud. Joining me now with their reporting and their insight, Catherine Lucy of The Wall Street Journal, Jonathan Martin of The New York Times, The Washington Post, Paul Kane, and CNN's Eva McKen. And Catherine, I, I want to start with you because, you know, it was just last month that President Biden said, I don't think about the former president. Uh, he very rarely speaks about the former president, certainly never says his name. Now, privately, I think you and I are both keenly aware he thinks about the former president a lot. But this shift in messaging, this shift in going straight at the former president, what was the rationale behind it? You're so right, Phil. This was a real turning point in the way he talked about the president publicly. He really has spent the past year trying to move away from talking about him, you know, trying to focus on unity when he could, saying he wanted to work with Republicans.